Hey, what's up guys? And today we're talking about these budget RGB lights from NUA and to see if they're worth it to you or not. So stick to the end of the video to find out. Right then, so let's take a look to what you get into the box. So when you first open these up, they actually come detachable on their own just with the wire. And you get a little ball head joint to come with it, which is really nice to get them angles like what you want you can literally point it anywhere so this is a really good thing that what comes in the box and then it comes with either just a normal long selfie stick that can go up quite tall and it also comes with a little mini tripod to come with so you can stand it up anywhere you want they also come with little diffusers so that's what it comes with what it normally comes with the light and then you slip your diffuser in to create that more of a soft light look like such as I've got now with my big Godox light. And then also you get these RGB color lights. So you get a yellow one, you get a red, and then you get a blue. And all they do is just slip on in front of the diffuser and then suddenly you've got a blue light shining. And this is what I use these lights mostly for. I use my big Godox light for the big light onto my face and onto the product. And then I use these two lights to get that color contrast. So I either have a blue or a red or a yellow and a blue. I mainly use just the red and the blue, but this is what these lights are really good for because they're actually quite bright as well when you get to full power. So that's actually really quite bright. And then also if you want, don't want it too bright, you can dim them down as well using the little remote that comes attached to the light itself so you can change both of them do dimmable lights so you can change the brightness of them that really does come in handy when you really want to set the exposure for your scene on depending on what you want to shoot so straight out of the box for about 50 pounds you get two lights and then you get color covers so you can make them RGB lights and change the color what you want them to be. You get two diffusers and you get two tripods and like two little selfie sticks. So basically for one of these, it's 25 pounds. And for a beginner, like I was when I first purchased them back in April, I was actually really happy of what these done for me. And I've used, I still use them now all the way up, all through my product photography and all through these YouTube videos. I still use them now and I get some really good shots with the colors when i do want to light up my scene but because these are 25 pound for both of these lights there's going to have to be some drawbacks and the one main big drawback for me is the build quality of the lights itself so this is just a bit of plastic really you got the lighting and a bit of plastic you put the diffuser in and i've had a few of these uh color covers break on me i say break but i mean like they've ripped or something sometimes because they can get caught inside when you're putting them in and then they start yanking on them and they can break and not just that this plastic area is very flimsy this tripod leg at the bottom and this tripod arm how you extend it out has to be one of the most flimsiest tripods i've ever used in my life and they have got on my nerves so much because the slight little knock when they're fully up tall they just come tumbling down R.I.P. Iron Man and the build quality of them is really bad but they have to cover the cost some way and by having real bad quality materials to build these lights is a way to cut the cost down even though they do come in handy because I use them all the time with these tripod lights you've just sometimes got to work around them and you just got to deal with it but that's just one of the things about these lights the build quality is really bad another bad thing I'd say about these lights is that as you can see they're wired so you have to plug them into a power source and that really does limit your use of them because if you are not near any power source then you can't use them so you either have to be plugging them in all the time to actually use them so if you want to use them out and about let's say if you're at night and you need some nice rgb color lights to shine on like a car if you want to get some car photos then unless there's a power source nearby you can't use them that really does annoy me because when i do bring them out with me into my camera bag i either forget a plug or there's no power source near me so I can't use them. So from now on, I literally just keep them in the studio and I only use them for product photography because I can't take them out anywhere with me. But I mean, they're budget lights at the end of the day. They're for beginners, they're for people who wanna start getting into like product photography and like YouTube setups to get some nice bright lights on you. 
uh, instead of just using like the flash on your phone or something. So even though these do have some big drawbacks, I've got around them and I use them pretty much every day when I do my private shoots and my YouTube videos because sometimes I like to add a little bit of colour behind me as well. So I just set them up, turn them on or on my face, like I might have blue one side, red the other side just to mix things up a bit. To be honest, I think these lights, they've got their real bad flaws and they've got their drawbacks. But overall, I do actually think they're worth the money. £50 for two lights that you can change the colours on and they come with a tripod. And they're dimmable so you can change how bright you want them. Is actually really good and when you look at it at £25 for one then that's really good value especially if you're starting out because if you're if you're really on a budget and you want a nice little YouTube setup then you've got your key light that can brighten you up and then you've also got a fill light or a backlight as well both for £50 and then you've got the choice to either add the RGB colours onto them as well so for a beginner like I was when I did buy it I think they're really good value but eventually if you want to start using them out and about more if you want to go take them when you're on a shoot or if you want more colours then I suggest that's when you may be looking to upgrade from these lights to maybe another one such as the Aperture MC because I'd say that's probably the best light that anyone can buy that is this size like really small portable if you checked out my last YouTube video here with the link is in the description if you want to go check that out I used these lights as you can see in that video to build that scene of the product scene that I made to try and take that photo this is what I used to get that color contrast they come out really well so you can get really good results with these lights it's just the build quality and the power source that is really bad I think for me and obviously even though they are bright you can get lights that are a lot brighter and if you was thinking about getting some budget lights for YouTube or product photography these two lights here for £50 is really good value for you when you want to start out so if you do want to go check them out the link is in the description below and also the Aperture MC link is in the description below if you want to go check that out as well thanks for watching I really hope you did enjoy if you did hit that like button and then subscribe to see more videos in the future and I'll see you guys in the next video see you later